Hello, today we are going to explore the different methods I have purchased to be able to use my SSD M2 drives externally through Thunderbolt 3 and through USB. So the two Thunderbolt drives that I have are the Fledging Shell Thunder and the OWC Envoy Express. The first one that I had actually was the Fledging so I'm going to take it apart and show you how it works. Um, it actually came with a nice little Thunderbolt cord. Um, and as you see, it does detach. Um, like most drives, you have to take apart some screws. I have already done so just to save some time in the video. It has a back panel that I can lift up. And there you can see I already have a drive in it with the heat sink silicone already in place. And you can see it is the Sabrent Rocket Thunderbolt drive. It has been a very fast drive with this rocket in it. We will see the test results in one moment. An advantage of this drive is it actually has a built-in fan. This fan runs it all the time while the unit has power, power and it's plugged in. I would like to see it have an active thermal cooling system. In other words, if the drive is not being used and is not very hot, please turn the fan off. It would save a little bit of noise. The next Thunderbolt 3 drive I bought just before Christmas, um, it is by OWC. It is the Envoy Express. It has some different features than the other one. Number one, as you see, the cable is built in. Number two, it actually comes with a plate that this plate can be mounted onto your laptop. And when you would like to use the drive, you can literally just slide it into place and it will be permanently mounted on the back side of your laptop. I thought this was a a feature myself I probably won't use because you would, of course, have this sticking out, but it, it's a neat option to have if you would like it. Okay, with that said, I'll show you how to take it apart. So once again, with most drives, we do have the two screws that take it out. You will notice that once I have this out, you can re replace the actual cable um, once it is apart. Okay, so here is the Envoy Express uh, by OWC. Currently does not have a drive in it. A drive would easily just be plugged in here and set down and have that one screw holding it in place. Okay, now I will show you the USB drive that I have bought and purchased. The uh, first USB drive I will take apart is the Retop. It actually was the first one I bought, and I was very pleased with its performance. Um, as you see, it does have two screws on either end, and a USB-C connector, as you can see, is clearly on the end. So this is the board for the retop. It allows my M2 drive to plug in, and it has, of course, a screw on the back side to hold it down. Um, I have installed a heat sink, and actually to help the heat actually transfer to the frame, I put a, um, a coin here because I felt as though when I had the heat silicone tubing, I couldn't slide it in properly, and so far this little coin has worked okay for me. This unit does not get very hot. The next USB drive is this Aluxum. I would say it is probably my least favorite drive. This drive has gotten very, very hot with a little bit of use um, to the point that I actually modified the little case myself trying to make it less hot. Um, I will show you that once I get it off here. So the back side of the unit came out. Similar to the other drive, I have installed a coin on this unit to help it to transfer the heat to the case. 
you can see my coin coming out there. And this is the board that this unit gets, uses. This unit does get very hot, even when the drive is not being used. Because of this, so I've actually drilled some holes in the top and side of this unit. It did help, and of course the coins making the outside of this aluminum transfer in the heat did help, but um, this is a unit I think I would stay away from. The next USB enclosure I'd like to show you is this Rosewell. It's my newest addition, and I got it because it's supposed to be super simple to change a drive. As you can see on one end, it actually has a nice little button. Now I can just press that button and the cover slides right off. I can turn it over, it gives easy access right to the board. And when I would take just a little simple tool and move this little rubber holder out of the way, I can easily remove this Western Digital Black Drive. It, installing a new one would be just as simple Holding it up with just a slight angle, pushing it all the way in, setting it down, moving the little rubber grommet over to the side. You can swing it over more if you'd like it to be in the way. And then reinstall the cover snap. You're ready to go. Plug it into your USB. This drive did come with only one cable, and that cable was a USB-C to USB-C. Now I'll give you a quick comparison of all the drives. First, we're going to start off with the Shell Thunder. Um, I have not, of course, even put this completely back together. I don't think that will affect the performance. You can see it still has the Sabrent Rocket M2 SSD drive in it. Um, my computer has connected to it. I'm on the Blackmagic um, Speed Desk Test, and I will go ahead and select the proper drive. Select target drive, go to Sabrent Rocket, do open, and we can see the results that I get on this drive. This drive is amazingly fast. I am hitting 2346 on the right, 2322 on the read, 2364 on the right. 2325 on the read, 2353 on the right, 2327 on the read. Very, very good speeds out of the Thunderbolt 3 fledging shell Thunder. I'm going to do the OWC Envoy Express. I am plugging it in with its own built in Thunderbolt drive. My computer has seen it. It actually has a Western Digital Black um, M2 drive in it at the moment, so I will select that drive and go ahead and start the speed test. I bought this drive for Christmas. I was a little disappointed in its performance. As you see, it just got a write speed of 1307, a read speed of 1483, a write speed just then of 1307 again, a read speed of 1482, a write speed of 13.08 and a read speed of 14.82. So pretty consistent. However, it is much slower than the fledging shell thunder that I previously had. Um, however, it does not have a fan. Um, it does have for the nice little mount to connect it to your computer by sliding it right onto the back cover of your laptop if you prefer. The next drive I'll show you will be the read top. That's the USB 3.1 enclosure. I'll go ahead and I will plug it in. I will select the drive. And test it. So most of the USB drives get about the same results. This one is getting a write speed of 928, a read of 953. It is using the Intel 
660p M2 drive. The next drive I'm going to show you is the Alexum USB drive. And if you remember, I talked about how hot this unit got to the point that I actually had to drill some holes inside the unit. This was rather disheartening at how hot this unit actually got to the point you could not hold it in your hand. But let's plug it in now and see how it does. Currently, the unit is just room temperature. So I have the unit plugged in. Wait till my computer recognizes it. It has recognized it. I'll go ahead and change black magic to that target drive. It is running at Intel 660 in this enclosure. And similar to the other drive, it's getting a speed of 941 and 949 on the read, 950, yeah, a little bit faster. We get a read speed this time of 941. And once again, we get a 956. So it is getting better results just slightly than the previous retop um, one, but very insignificant. It also, as I mentioned, gets very hot. I will... Our next test will be on the Rosewell quick release enclosure. This one, as I mentioned, can easily be removed um, in a jiffy to swap drives if you would like. It only came with a USB to USB C cable. I'm going to select the target drive here to the Western Digital uh, Black, choose it, and test the results on this one. On the right speed on this first test, I got a 926. and a read speed of 931. A write speed, 945. A read speed of 933. So this drive is a very convenient drive. It does not have any active cooling. However, the fins, um, with an appropriate heat sink built in. Um, I think it's one of the better, quicker drives for the USB. In summary, if you're buying a USB enclosure, there is not a lot of difference in speed and a slower M2 drive will do fine. Thunderbolt technology allows the drive to run at faster speeds. The OWC Envoy with Thunderbolt 3 was 1.5 times faster than USB. But if you want speed, I find the fledging shell Thunder was 2.5 times faster than an M2 USB enclosure. Thank you for watching.